MFCs ante microbial fuel cells you know microbial means microorganisms ni vaadi fuel cell you know what is a fuel cell fuel cell is cell which can create electricity fundamentally using fuel fuel may be of different forms again now for example what are the different forms of fuel adi chudandi first normal fuel cell em chestundi it uses a chemical reaction chemical reaction and using chemical reaction the heat is generated and from that electricity is produced so oka normal fuel cell lo chemical reaction chestaru chemical reaction chesina heat nunchi from that heat usually we capture out electrons and then that electrons will lead to flow of electrons that will lead to electricity so what is electricity fundamentally it is flow of electrons so that means for any electricity generation process you require the production of electrons first so the electrons produce kavalante there are different ways for example if h is there h ni break je same osadi h plus plus electron this is positron this is positive and this is negative so electrons will be released so if more number of h2 gas is decomposed lot of electrons will be released aa electrons randinni galipi oka wire la yesnam ante it gets converted into current or electricity that is a fundamental process flow of electrons electrons kadilte current ochestadi so electrons kadalalante first electrons should be produced so normally what happens is in a fuel cell chemical reactions are done anode cathode electrons are released and once there is movement of electrons electrons kadalla modlavangane electricity produce ayi electricity electricity is generated that is a usual tendency with respect to normal fuel cell what about hydrogen fuel cell hydrogen fuel cell will use hydrogen break the hydrogen generate electricity just like how i told you fuel cell chemical reaction heat electrons electricity hydrogen fuel hydrogen break up electrons electricity but microbial fuel cells what is advantage is it uses bacteria to generate electricity so that is a highlight point and why this is very important is recently iit jodhpur lo for the first time they have used these microorganisms not just to produce electricity but also fix carbon dioxide by fixing carbon dioxide and car release avutuna carbon dioxide ni vaadukuni electricity generate cheyadam chesaru it is the first time which is happening in, in throughout the world therefore it is done in it was done in iit jodhpur and was recently in news therefore very very important for your prelims snd paper lo ochche chance undi so what is this microbial fuel let's see okay see a bioelectrical chemical device that generates electricity by harnessing the metabolic activity of microorganisms metabolic activity so what normal game jarudu what happens is microorganisms feed on waste material all of you know this once they feed on waste material what happens is they require a lot of carbon dioxide to be done so there is a lot of carbon dioxide which is released so what this what happens is these microorganisms use that carbon dioxide and kill the waste waste ni what waste ni waste ni decompose cheyadaniki it uses a lot of carbon dioxide so that carbon dioxide is actually pulled up by the microorganism itself anaerobic bacteria aerobic bacteria i'm sure you must have learned in your school so using the metabolic activity of microorganisms it is able to generate electricity that is a active point of it so when microorganisms break down organic matter as in waste water into simpler molecules a break chesina pudu em avuthu ante electrons are released once in the process of breaking the waste material what are released electrons are released ante electrons release aithe em cheppina indake electrons release ayina ante obviously you can convert that into current so so when electrons are released it means you collect that and then you can generate electricity so if these electrons are made to flow through an external circuit you get electric current so what it is doing bacteria or microorganisms on waste material which is inside the water those waste materials are decomposed through the bacteria when they are decomposed what is released electrons are released if you are able to capture those electrons and put it in a circuit electricity is generated so normally when we have to generate electricity lot of heat lot of gases thermal power stations lot of ghgs to avoid all these things 
you use bacteria that to under water break them into small molecules in the process of breaking into smaller waste molecules electrons are released electrons byte gostai a electrons anitni jagratha collect chesi oka circuit lo vetnam ante it will become electric current that is the essence of microbial fuel cell so microorganisms waste material inside water breaking electrons releasing current generation this is the whole scheme for microbial fuel cell so what are the features let's see so carbon dioxide from the flue gas so flue gas is usually those gases which are released in thermal plants and all these places so akka nunchi mana carbon dioxide rosel that carbon dioxide is absorbed by waste water so please try to understand carbon dioxide pulled into waste water waste water waste water level untaru bacteria bacteria what does it do it decomposes once it decomposes electrons are released electrons will be related to electricity this is the scheme again i repeat carbon dioxide from the flue gas pulled into waste water that carbon dioxide goes inside the water microorganisms come eat the waste material break the molecules electrons are released electricity is generated that is a scheme so what kind of bacteria once this waste water what happens is this carbon dioxide is converted with the help of sodium bicarbonate and this is called fgdbs ante flue gas derived by carbonates flue gas derived by carbonates again i am repeating carbon dioxide put into waste water addition ga they add sodium bicarbonate solid waste material la taravutadi ekkadi gelipothadi neela lo gelipothadi evaru tintaru microorganisms tintai tinnapude em avutadi decomposition jarutadi decomposition jarinapude em avutadi electrons release aithayi electrons when it released you get electricity that is the scheme so these fgbds helps in the growth of algae what is that algae's name algae corella vulgaris please remember this algae corella vulgaris acv and this the highlight of this algae is it is thermal tolerant ante veedi ni tatkogalutadi it can sustain high temperatures also so when the waste comes it comes with a lot of high temperature a high temperature that algae can sustain and it starts doing its work of decomposing it so that is what happens and those algae assisted mfcs are used to, to generate electricity so what is the significance it is an indirect biochemical root of carbon dioxide fixation and its advantage because it is more inorganic carbon can stay in the water please remember this so what is happening here these algae assisted mfcs they generate that electricity good at the same time whatever carbon dioxide which was inside it becomes inorganic and it can sustain in water for a long time without poisoning the water that is highlight because it has been converted into carbonate form sodium carbonate bicarbonate are into solid form kinda vadipo itla settle aipothe kinda as precipitates so carbon dioxide mix with waste water addition of sodium bicarbonate they become solids they stay they don't pollute the water algae come eat the waste material decompose it electrons are released generation of electricity happens electricity generation done without pollution first point next point the carbon dioxide which is going into the water stays as carbonates they settle down so they don't pollute the water that means your carbon dioxide which is supposed to go in the air edaithe carbon dioxide byte kelp ay green house gas kinda byte kelli pollute cheyalo adantha water lopala sodium carbonates bicarbonates form lo they settle down under the sea or the ocean or wherever water sources are there and that does not pollute the water that is the best part so carbon dioxide fixation is done electricity generation is done so what is the advantage of this two things two major things which happen please remember for this carbon dioxide fixation happens plus electricity generation is happening electricity generation both are very very important for protecting the environment and not polluting the environment therefore carbon dioxide fixation is happening electricity generation is happening all through algae fgbds please remember this 
very 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 useful for your prelims next one ton of algae captures 180 tons of carbon dioxide so the issue is e algae ni manam culture jal we have to produce that algae that requires a lot of area that is the only issue e algae ni manam cheyalante chaala chaala place kavali that is your only issue in production of this algae otherwise this is a fantastic mechanism to capture carbon dioxide global house gas greenhouse gases release gaakunda chusukodaniki pollution manchi undadaniki at the same time fantastic way of generation of electricity so for a cubic meter waste water of fgbd they require 0.0 in the amount of electricity is generated please remember this value 0.066 kilowatt hour now this is the first time why this is important is it is the first time this mechanism has been introduced with iit jodhpur 